All right, everybody, welcome back to Beans No Ball. Got some breaking news this morning. Obviously, Christian, I know this one in some ways hits a little close to you, so I think I'll let you uh, get us started with this one. Yeah, man. So this morning we got another uh, big trade coming up from a big name receiver, Jerry Judy. The Browns traded for Jerry Judy for a fifth and a sixth rounder. And, you know, look, this is the first thing I woke up. You said to in our group chat, I'm like, Jerry Judy got traded. And that's the first thing you said for a fifth and a sixth. And that's just, um, well, I mean, look. This I, is the receiver look. that you've been saying, you know, obviously you want to maybe yeah. see the Cowboys upgrade from Michael yeah, Gallup at, at, as a third receiver. There's someone, I mean, yeah. hey, like we were just saying right now, that he isn't like, he's nothing crazy. He's not horrible. But he's, he's, not not horrible he's not crazy, but he's serviceable. Like, let's let's be honest. Sure. Sure. Like, you know, coming to the league in 2020, he had a pretty good, he had a, he had a good season for a rookie. And obviously he had a decline in 2021, brought that back up in 2022. And then obviously all last season, the whole thing with Jerry Judy, him not being consistent, just have him having shitter games. That was all around. But don't he, Jerry Judy, he's still a young receiver. He can still develop in the right system. And, you know, you know looking for my Cowboys, a lot of players that we've got it, you know, their careers, some will revive them in Amari Cooper's uh, tenor for their his season kind of went up a bit. Even Derek McFadden, when we got him from the Raiders, you know, a couple players and you know some other players that I don't have in mind. You know, somehow they revived the career with the Dallas Cowboys and Jerry Judy. You know, that could have been a possible candidate. It's always a possibility for that. But I mean, sure, maybe Jerry Judy. You know, not a big name for the Cowboys that you know, from recent reports, but it is still a huge upgrade for Michael Gallup that is most likely going to be released uh, in June for the post June Cup. But I mean. Like, come on, a fifth and a six, like, come on, any any team would do that in a heartbeat for Jerry Judy, a young receiver like him. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it's just to think that a former first round pick, obviously, he was the 15th overall in 2020, and he'll be 25 next month. That's yeah. a real, a great young receiver. That's yeah. what we're saying. You know, he's had, he has a lot of time to develop. We'll see what the Browns can do. I mean, obviously, you mentioned Amari Cooper. That's going to be a great one two punch for Deshaun Watson. And that, this is the main thing. If Deshaun can, you know, get it together, I see these last two years have really been a struggle for him at the quarterback position. When we even see Joe Flacco taking over him and honestly doing better than him. So if we see Deshaun step up, this is something I've been saying the past two years. I've been expecting him to, and he really hasn't. If he finally does it, honestly, I could really expect the Browns to maybe be a, a really tough contender to win the North if Ju jerry judy also you know if his development really starts progressing but i mean if I mean, we look at, at the this too i mean look i mean i was even thinking about this earlier like on paper when you're looking at this browns team like the sean watson man then we Mark, look at elijah Mark moore Cooper, and david jerry and judy elijah moore david and joku even nick chubb right but like you said the only two concerns would be Deshaun watson if he can stay consistent and just pray to god that nick chubb's injury is not going to affect him in the in the long run because you know, that injury was scary. And it, was, it, was, it was the same knee he blew out in Georgia, it's right? It's the same one, yeah. Yeah, the same knee he blew out in Georgia uh, a couple years ago. So that's really the two main concerns you would have for this Browns um, for this Browns offense. But on paper, it looks really, really good. But again, it just really just relies on the, the, the Sean Watson for the most part. And the concerns are on the offensive side as well. Because when yeah. you look on defense, I mean, they had a little fall off at the second half. But they have, you know, are arguably a top five defense in the NFL. Obviously, mm -hmm. headlined by Miles Garrett. So... That's the thing, you know, if the offense can keep up, this could definitely be a, a very heavy contender next season. And looking at the Broncos, I mean, this move will put them at 45 million in the cap. So no one really wants to go there, but they have, I guess, yeah. some money to work with here. I mean, I see they restructured. They're going to have to blow a lot of money, though. They're going to have to blow yeah. a lot of money if they want to sign anything. It, that's the thing, too. And I mean, we know, I mean, despite the cap hit that Russ gave them, I mean, they still have something to work with. You know, like I just said, you know, they were struck with Glinchy and cutting Simmons. That's something that really hurt for a lot of Broncos fans. But I mean, honestly, it had to be done. It's kind of, you know, ushering out the guys of the of, of the struggling team kind of, you know, they kind of need a new era. They need changes of and, scenery. And, and that's, don't even forget, yeah. all of a sudden is still up as a, yeah, as a trade that's, candidate, too. And, and that's something is still else up. And too, yeah. that's, that could be also detrimental if they match to trade the whole receiving core. It's, it's just gonna be same old broncos and at the, the end of the day guys. this is kind of just you know they're really cleaning house i know we kind of yeah. slightly mentioned this with the bills and their defense but they're really cleaning house they're really re gonna get into a, a rebuild probably expecting to see them go quarterback in the draft that's something you know we'll also see about getting into but it's, it's kind of just a full reset button for george payton and sean payton and the, the whole front office of the of the broncos and i mean we'll wait and see it's going to be another stint of mediocrity for the broncos and I mean, let's see if they get it right this time. But yeah, of course, you know, just, uh, I guess, can't really say surprising, but, you know, good, a good little little steno of, of news to to start our Saturday. And I was going to get this a little later, but regardless, uh, get the news out. And so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we'll see you guys back for 
some more news and we keep uh, mentioning a couple video ideas but we'll get them out there eventually so hope you guys enjoyed like and subscribe and we'll see you guys back for those next ones